Hi, my name is Stefan. Welcome to module one of this Dynamics video set from Zucal. And in this set of videos, I will have a review for you of the basics of Vector. And as you know, for this Dynamics, Vector is a very essential topic. And that's why, firstly, I would like to have a review on Vector form. So I'm sure that you have learned that there are two kinds of Vector form. First is the Cartesian form and Second is polar form. So for Cartesian form, for example, we have a factor of 3i plus 4j. What does this mean? It means that in your Cartesian diagram, x and y, or we can uh, mention it as i and j, you have a factor going 3 units to i direction and 4 units to j direction. And this is your factor r. And it is a very essential skill on how to convert from Cartesian form into polar form and how to from polar form into Cartesian form. So let's we convert this Cartesian form to polar form. Basically, you just use this kind of formula. So R is equal square root of 3 square plus 4 square and the angle is at the tangent of 4 over 3 and you will get 5 and the angle is 53 degrees so it means that in your polar coordinate you have a vector r with magnitude of 5 so this length is 5 and it points 53 degrees then now let's convert back this polar form to Cartesian form so you have this component 53 degrees so you can get this Cartesian form by multiplying the magnitude with the unit factor of cos theta. This is theta, which is 53 degrees i plus sine 53 degrees j. So finally, you will get 3i plus 4j. So in summary, if you have a polar form of the magnitude, let's say the magnitude is C and the direction is theta, you can convert it to Cartesian form by multiplying the magnitude with the unit factor cos theta i plus sine theta j.